This is the one day reading for the S&P 500 throughout the day of March 7th, 2022. The current date and time is 920 on March 1st, 2022. 9.20 p.m. All right, so the overall theme and behavior Uh, there's a flight to safety. Um, in pre-market, we visit a important support level that was a, a past opportunity. We revisit that past opportunity. Um, and there's a U-shaped dip as something that was hidden comes to light. Um, in the first half, and that's around the open. In the first half hour, there's uh, three pokes through a resistance level. And after the third poke, there's a sharp decline. That's roughly the first half hour. Um, a courageous rally out of a sharp decline um, between roughly 10 and 11. Um, we attempt to establish support. That's my dog barking at something that's not there, huh? So, okay, so we attempt to establish support between 11 and 12, and then between 12 and one, there's, just, there's a, a move higher followed by an equidistant move, almost like a mirror image move back down and e two equal and opposite moves and cancel each other out. And that's roughly 12 to one. There's an opportunity within a decline um, to open up some long positions or buy some calls. In, in the midst of a decline, there's a, there's an opportunity to do that. The decline continues into roughly the two to three o'clock hour, and, and into the four, and picks up steam in the four or the three to four o'clock hour. Um, there's sideways sideways fluidity after a sharp decline around the uh, the close, and in the post market we have further decline. Um, and in, in the case of strife, what we'll see is um, there'll be there'll be lower lows and lower highs, but there'll be like these spikes to reach resistance, um, and each spike is going to be lower than the last one. But um, they they come up to meet uh, uh, moving averages as the resistance, and it's kind of like one of those down on uh, down she goes. Behavior around the high, there's gonna be a, a fast sudden move higher within a period of decline. Behavior around the low, there's a lot of volatility. Um, we'll meet a resistance level followed by a sharp decline that continues in volatility as we move lower. Um, and based on what I'm seeing right now, it looks to me like we're probably um, gonna see a low here at the end of the day. Uh, Pre-market. Or, sorry, a uh, preview card for for March the 8th is a big push higher in the midst of a decline. Um, so that implies more decline from today. And then the trade opportunity is going to be around, again, a fast sudden move higher. Interesting that this is here. It's probably a good uh, opportunity to sell calls the following day, but we'll have to see in the in the next reading. So um, that's the SO Meta portion, or that's the SO portion of the uh, three the March 7, thousand and S and P five hundred reading. Um, we'll stay tuned because we're going to do the the Meta pattern recognition portion. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, my friends. It's Capra Veb. This is the S&P 500 one day reading for March 7th, 2022. It's currently February, Mar uh, excuse me, March 4th, 2022, 1.27 a.m. So the overall behavior and theme for the 7th is a flight to safety. We don't have a correlator here between the um, 
hermit card and any of the timeline cards so that could maybe nullify it a little bit but it's a flight to safety on the seventh we have a low one in the pre-market when we revisit a, a important support level that was an opportunity and then there's a, a there's a rally um, right around the open um, in the but there's also a u-shaped dip within uh, kind of like sitting in in the intersection of two perpendicular uh, intersecting diagonal trend lines um, that all takes place roughly right around the open um, in the first half hour we have roughly the first half hour there's three pokes through resistance level followed by a sharp decline and then we have a trade opportunity um, around roughly 10 to 11 where we have um, in the midst of a decline there's a turnaround and a, and a, um, a, uh, a courageous rally uh, out of that decline However, there's another low correlator between roughly 11 and 12. So somewhere in there, there's likely another low um, or a second low for the day. Um, uh, at a, and it's at, a, a, it's at the power support level, which power is in a lot of cases uh, used as a significator for support level. So that could be prominent. Um, and then we have more of a decline. So there's between 12 and one, there's a, r roughly 12 and one, there's a move higher that's prominent, but it's followed quickly by a move lower that's like e equal in strength and distance. So it's kind of like they e they uh, cancel each other out. And then there's a sharp decline moving into the roughly the one to two o'clock hour. That marks another opportunity. There's also a peak there. It looks like we have a peak there around roughly, there's an important peak or crest around roughly 115, 110. Um, and then that decline, um, that decline between roughly one and two o'clock is an opportunity to open up some long positions or some call by some calls. Then we have another sharp, sharp decline through uh, multiple support levels, followed by we uh, another trade opportunity in the last hour. Um, where we have a peak and a uh, in the midst of a big move higher, there's a, like a big push to the upside, um, right around the two o'clock mark. But then that's followed by a sharp, sharp decline out of that peak, um, and there's a trade opportunity as well. A low correlation um, right at the end of the day in the midst of some sideways fl uh, uh, fluidity, equal amounts of bulls and bears, inflow and outflow, and all that, right around the close. And then we have strife, which is like um, it's a it's a move lower below. It's a move going down below moving averages. They're acting as resistance and we have spikes up to meet them and then they and then it falls further and it spikes up but not as high as the last spike and falls further and that's that's strife, basically. So we see that in the post market. The uh, sneak preview for the following day is a, a notable move from a important support level all the way to an important resistance level um, that starts um, after a uh, scary decline. Behavior around the high is going to be a fast sudden move higher within the midst of a decline and it marks the end of that period of decline and that's it will we'll form the high there. There's going to be multiple lows. Multiple lows guys um, and in the midst of some, some notable volatility um, and at least one of the at least one of the highs is going to be a very close to one of the main lows for the day as well so like they're in in quick sequence and i'm sensing it's it's likely right around that two o'clock mark that we see that high and and a sharp low all right guys so that's uh march 7 2022 uh i hope this helps out let me know how you do guys i'd love to hear about it i always respond back if there's something you want to see comment i might be able to get around to it relatively soon guys thanks for watching and if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that guys it really supports it helps support us and I'll see you all out there. Good luck.